A leisurely paddle along the Mississippi River is a great way to spend a few hours, but what a foursome in one canoe just accomplished is anything but relaxing. They just set the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to row the length of the Mississippi at 17 days and 20 hours. As Mike Augustinak reports, two of the new record holders are a father-daughter duo from Wyzetta. You know, when I was 22 and did this originally, I it changed me. A love for the mighty Mississippi crosses generations in much the same way it crosses state lines, especially in the Milhone family. Almost 40 years ago, Dad KJ set his first Guinness World Record as part of the fastest team to row the length of the river. Talk of a new attempt began in 2019 and quickly became a family affair. When Casey turned to me at that dinner table and said, well, if you're going to do this, I want to do it. Um, I was on board immediately. For the Milhones and their teammates, recognized paddlers Bobby Johnson and Rod Price, the payoff comes not from a line in a book, but from the experience. To have a world record, you realize they're not worth anything. Why do you say that? There's enormous value to the skills and the knowledge and the persistence and the strengths and the you know, everything that you learn in the pursuit of those things. Starting at Lake Itasca, the team paddled in nine hour shifts around the clock for 17 days. You wake up from your three hour, three hours of sleep and then you're pretty good for that three hours. You're like, you're, you're the pinpoint person in the boat. You have the most energy. The next three hour shift, you're like, okay, I still have some energy. And then the three hours before you go to sleep, you're just like trying to just like tape your eyes open. Even knowing the trip ended successfully, the stories are still harrowing. It was a meteorological uh, nightmare. The second night, then we had like a, a complete blizzard and we had a tornado warning one, t one day where like a tornado jumped the Mississippi. All stayed safe with the exception of a few bruises. All of us at one time or another, you know, were hit broadsided by Asian carp jumping in the river. You'd put your paddle in the water and then one paddle stroke would be completely fine and then the next one it'd feel like you're hitting a rock but you're just hitting like fish mike augustin act wcco 4 news what a trip yeah congratulations okay. uh kj also became the oldest person to have completed the estimated 2350 mile journey and casey is now the youngest female to do so yay well you can learn more about their trip and their efforts to keep waterways clean safe and healthy at wcco.com links